Pikachu here, probably mm -hmm. smart. Uh, Pikachu, just really good, really mobile. Steve would probably have a bit more trouble dealing with some of these projectiles. Although, um, Zelda does like to sit on the other side of the stage, and Steve's got no problem just sitting there mining. <laughs> I will say, I want to see how if... Okay, I was going to say, how does Zelda react to Thunder Jolt camping? And immediately right at the gate, DM is just throwing <laughs> Thunder Jolt across the stage and uses that as an avenue to get in. Because yeah. Ven's Reflector has iframes and is a reflector, of course, uh, it does leave you vulnerable enough for Pikachu to rush in and get a follow-up. So immediately right out the gate, Ven has to be on the defensive here. Right. And uh, one of the things, actually, uh, I do want to point out here is uh, I'm kind of surprised DM allowed Ven to kind of... I, I, I'm almost assuming that Ven had the actual stage pick, but let them go to Smashville. Smashville is such a huge stage for Ven. I'm, I assume it's good for Zelda, but like I swear, every time I do commentary for Ven... I see them find a way to get the Smashville, and then they just, they do so well here. Like, you gotta be on top of your game if you wanna take a game from Ven in the first place. Ooh. But now, doing it on Smashville, whole different situation. Great kill from uh, from Ven, by the way. I doubted you for a second there, but Ven made me eat my own thoughts because DM struggled to get back real quick, got punished immediately, and Ven, so far, so good as you said. So, I can definitely see why Smashville is good for Zelda. You love to camp underneath that middle platform, yep. so, makes sense to me. Yeah, because, like, the thing is, is, like, you're basically creating a hallway. And, I mean, Ven, and not just Ven, but Zelda in general, loves charging that knight, getting that knight going. She's the hall and monitor, a, and you right, shall yeah, not she, she, Yeah, she's the hall monitor. That's definitely the way to consider it. <laughs> wow, good forward smash, though, from DM. Going to be able to take that stock right back. But, yeah, no, uh, the hall monitor Zelda definitely uh, coming into play here. That's just a huge factor uh, for them. And then you'll see some different, like, setups, too. Like, uh, Ven does a pretty good job of, like, um... Of conditioning the the opponent on this stage alone, like we saw the uh, the recovery earlier, where he got the up smash to take out DM's first stock, and you're gonna see some crazier stuff uh, from here too. When they're off stage, expect to see that night again when they're off stage, and you'll see what happens. I'm keeping that in mind right now. It's just a lot of using the iframes of Nehru's love, like we're, like we've been seeing, and just running away from Pikachu because that rat's scary. Oh yeah. It's, it's every, a big old game of keep away. Yeah, in every other situation, uh, <laughs> I mean, not not online. And it's not to take away from Ven. Ven's a fantastic player, but Pikachu, very, very strong against basically every character in this game. So, I mean. Some would ooh. say Pikachu is the best. Some would say that. DM and, uh, might agree with you. DM might, might agree, especially getting another forward smash kill. Uh, so far, really finding the mark on that. Yeah, I, I respect that a lot. And you can see kind of Ven getting punished for the neutral getups. The bear plane, just a little bit there. Not a lot of percentage, but definitely pressure at just kind of immediately putting Ven on ledge in the defensive. Ooh, Ven tried to uh, bait DM into like coming in for like the grab or something like that and teleported in place trying to get that kill, but not going to be able to find it. And oh! I like the SDI getting away from the, uh, the alley-oop there from the Zelda upbeat. It's the elevator, and you didn't want to be caught on that elevator. The Zelda-vader? <laughs> yes, exactly, and... Ven might need a little bit more than Zelda. They need help. They need to get up from that ledge. Yeah, but I mean, it is Zelda, uh, despite what some people think, Zelda's got some really crazy kill power, uh, especially like after they got that buff, like that Nair into like the forward air and stuff like that. There we go. Got to stock right there. 102% though. Uh, Ven can do a good enough job here to keep DM at bay, continuing to pile on that damage. And again, like I said, man, Zelda's got some crazy kill power. That forward air and back air, those lightning kicks, that could end the stock at like 40 or 50. Oh, definitely. As you said, deceptively strong. I don't know how that princess packs a punch, but she do. But so does Whoa. Pikachu's skull. Because uh, yeah. that's game one for DM, JV2. Yeah, I forget that Pikachu's dash attack kills sometimes, man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Pikachu good. Pikachu do be strong. Holding yeah. the light ball, has buff stats. Kind of busted. <laughs> this pretty much is just Pikachu with light ball, huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> much more competitively viable. You got to respect yeah. it. That is, that is for sure. That is for sure. But yeah, no, good stuff from DM. Uh, I, I I don't know. We'll see where things go into a game two here. Uh, I think Ven can handle this. Like, it's just Ven, Ven's so strong. Uh, they, they've taken a couple tournaments. I think they've take, uh, taken a couple MSMs, if I remember correctly. And we got the run so, back for game two. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's, that's good for Ven. I mean, I know DM did a very good job in Smashville, but I feel like Smashville is honestly just Ven's strongest stage two. And maybe they just had to wake up a little bit. Yeah, think smarter, not uh, harder, honestly. Right. Or work, work smarter, not harder, really. Okay, well, let's see if Smashville running it back here will work out for Ven trying to find a way to force a game three. That would oh, be wow. the ideal scenario for Ven. Starting off decently strong right now. 
again, abusing the iframes there. Woo! Putting Dima <laughs> check somehow. I thought they were gonna down arrow him into the night, but no, just barely missing. But still, just finding the spike hitbox anyway is pretty big. And I like Vens. The, the Vens get off me button is so present here, and you can tell. Just like, hey, iframes, please. Get me away yeah, from right. the spike. Much appreciated. Oh, and Nehru's loves iframes are absolutely ridiculous. I always forget how busted those things are. And one thing I've, I've really seen from DM so far on this set is that when Ven is pressuring DM, DM instead of trying to contest it at all, which a lot of Pikachus might because your character pretty good, DM prefers to back off and play it safe because they realize that any false step can get you killed with against that Zelda kill power. So I'm loving the kind of knowing when to hold them and knowing when to fold them scenario that uh, the, the DM gambler really is. Are you telling me that Pikachu thrives in multiple playstyles? Yeah, uh, what a, <laughs> very strange how a character at the top of the meta does a great job in many different circumstances. It's crazy. It's almost like this character could be the best camping character in the game too, maybe. I don't know. Hmm, <laughs> Thunder Jolt. <laughs> Thunder Jolt is pretty nice, man. I won't lie. Oh, Thunder wow. Jolt. Real good. Yeah, almost getting a nice little setup there, forcing DM off the ledge and almost barely, barely missing that forward smash, which absolutely would have blown Pikachu up. Oh, oh my God, DM just waiting his time and finding the forward air to take out the first stock. Great stuff. Understanding the patience that is required with fighting a Zelda is so important, especially online. You've got to hand it to DM that they came prepared for this set. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get grabbed, though. Yeah, sometimes you get grabbed. Sometimes you, you know, do get grabbed, though. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta grab that rat and just toss them to the blast zone, you know? It's, it's literally all it is. And that, that's a scenario of patience being a downfall because DM was just waiting for Ven to press buttons. But, but Ven just stood up and said, yeah, I'll grab you. And you're at, like, what, 140? Back throw dead. So, right. kind of a rough situation. So, one scenario where patience could kill. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Ven was struggling to get on the stage there for a little bit. Wow, the quick attack gonna stop the knight from ever coming out. Great stuff from DM so far. Yeah, Ven's definitely been on a struggle on this second stock. This quick attack is coming in huge. Yeah. Gear, DM's brain is turning because it's like, oh, quick attack can interrupt Knight before it comes out. And Zelda's an end lag long enough afterwards. And hey, nice reflect. <gasps> but missing the follow-up. Excellent awareness air dodge from DM. And that kind of forward smash. Yeah, kind of wish that follow-up connected, man. That would have been a really sick stock. But hey, it is what it is. Right now, DM is on fire. Definitely controlling the pace of this game, man. That quick attack is coming in huge. It is so important for Ven now to find something. I mean, as you've been saying, a lot of kill power. If a stock can be needed, it is right here right now because Ven is on winner side stock. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Forcing DM to recover low. Yep, going to be able to find the Knight to slash him right off the ledge. And we're at an even game, man. It is close. It is neck and neck between these two. And Skiff, I know you've been rooting for Ven, but do they have what it takes to clinch it out? Ah, uh, I mean... I've, I've seen what Ven can do, man, but DM has been really just controlling this whole game so far. Uh, doing a great job finding this pressure, staying patient too, like you mentioned earlier. Uh, has got no problem just kind of waiting it out, just saying, hey, I'll dive in, but I mean, if it gets too dicey, I'll wait for you. And that's been working out for DM, like, so well. Quick attack to get you out of dodge. I respect that, DM. A little bit of a narrow down smash scenario. Of course, not anywhere near killing. Wanted to go for something flashy, not quite finding it. This is getting scarier with these passing seconds because these two are approaching kill range. Oh, almost getting Din's fire to pop off there too. And finding, trying to find the down air to actually hit DM into the night. We almost saw that come to fruition earlier, but barely missing it. But here we go, man. DM with the opening, but gonna use the Nehru's love to get DM out of the way. And oh my God. <laughs> DM was nervous there trying to get off that ledge. It's such a tense scenario. So Ben capitalized on it with a forward smash and the knight backing Zelda up. So even the game won one on the run back. Yeah, that was a, honestly, that was a bad choice from DM off the ledge going for the aggressive option because even if, you know, Pikachu does find a way to get through a forward smash like that and was able to get his hit first, the knight was right behind Ven. That, that knight was coming for backup. <laughs> Say, hey, man, uh, you can't you can't be touching my homie like that. I'm going to jump you right now. But didn't even need the knight. Forward smash is going to be able to make it through. Uh, the smarter option would have just been to back off. And I don't know, maybe get your way to the other side of the stage. Could have dropped off the ledge, skull bash. Oh, under and then quick attack to the ledge or something like that. And I don't think Ven would have been able to re um, react as fast. But it is what it is going into game three. Looks like we're staying on Smashville as well. And Ven's starting to wake up here. Ven has found their footing, but 
Might need a little bit more because that game two was awfully close. So now it's DM's turn to kind of adjust accordingly. And this is an entire set played on Smashville. So not the stage. It is up to the players. Oh, wow. 50% in the first like 10 seconds. What a nice little string from Ven. But I mean, that's a nice 50% and all. But now Pikachu's on the offensive here. Going to be able to find a way out of it, though. But man, that could have been a lot worse. For sure. 30% on Ven to 70% on DM. Just a little bit of back and forth, and again, Pikachu finding with that quick attack, slipping past the knight and just kind of keeping Ven on edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, going to be able to find their way back to the ledge, though. Oh, was that a trade? I don't know if that traded. It was a little bit of a trade. Pikachu got kicked down. Like, hey, relax. Okay. Come on. Stop getting all the furniture. <laughs> just kick that rat. That's all you got to do. Sure. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Back throw. Kind of close. I don't know how DM slipped past both. A Din's Fire and the Knight, but they did. They weren't really too far apart. Um, I feel like they, they could have been a better setup for the both of them, but I mean, it, it, it's whatever. It was able to get back to stage. Ooh. I'm liking the aggression from DM trying to answer the kind of the stalling from Van off stage. Keeping the percentage close. Up throw, not going to kill just yet. Yep, forcing Ven to have to react to a thunder that never came, though. Uh, the up throw honestly wasn't a bad idea. I mean, you do put your opponent above you. Pikachu's got some good options. Zelda's not exactly the fastest to get back to ledge. <laughs> but oh my god, that forward smash reaching out just a little bit farther than uh, Zelda can. Unfortunately. Yes, yeah, I liked uh, to see Ven charging up their own forward smash just to get snuffed out by Pikachu. You're it's right. brutal. <laughs> And see, that's the scenario I'm talking about right there. That night, that swing from the knight is so large. Uh, we might see a scenario even later where uh, the knight will go underneath the stage, right? But like, because of how big that hitbox is, it could clip Pikachu uh, if they're standing on the platform. Oh, oh! almost get the stock. Okay. It's getting pretty scary for DM's first stock. I'm liking the pressure though. The thunder jolts at ledge, keeping Ven on the defensive, not giving Ven a chance to take the stock. Yep. And I mean, just that, like, just keeping, yeah, like you said, keeping Ven on the defensive, keeping Ven scared. We didn't see him move from that one spot for, like, a good 10 seconds, it felt like. What the hell I was about to say? I heard Dash Deck go off, and I'm like, what is Pikachu doing? But the knight stays true and pulls through for Ven. Mm -hmm. and there we go. Ven starting to get some good damage here. Uh, was struggling a little bit on the second stock, but now seeming to find their path, find their, uh, their way to just put on this percentage. Hit after hit. Teleport onto the stage, but just dash attacking Ven, pin ponging them across the stage. Ooh, that was really scary. Could have possibly got that, could have ended this stock, but just barely missed spacing it. Aggressive quick attack gets rid of that knight, keeps Ven on edge just a bit. DM's it finding themselves just repeatedly in these situations. Yeah, Ven's doing a good job getting these ledge trap scenarios going, but just barely missing the mark. And DM, honestly, just being a sneaky rat, <laughs> finding their way through. Whoa, perfect time to get something like an up smash there or forward smash, but not quite finding the timing for it. Ven's stock lives on. Mm -hmm. Gonna get a trade from a forward smash into a downer there. Okay. Ooh. What are we going to see? No, we're going to fall out of it and try to go for the forward smash. But again, that oh. rat is sneaking through. <laughs> DM's defense, uh, offenses are not quite up to snuff now as Ven has finally managed to find those trades and find those stocks that DM was holding onto for so long in games one and for a lot of game two. Okay. Let's see where we go from here. Okay, again, wow, Ven's really turning it up. DM was really controlling the pace of this game at the beginning, but um, <laughs> Ven's just on a whole nother level right now. Elevator? Oh! Indeed, the elevator all the way to the top as that continues in winners and all the way to the blast zone for DM getting sent to losers in this top 64 night. Honestly, it's it's like I said, um, I know DM took game one on Smashville, but like just don't let Ven go to Smashville. Just don't do it.